back with another candle review for you today. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing Golden Pineapple Luau. This candle has also been out for a while, but you can pick it up during the semi-annual sale for half off. Of course, you want to use your 10 off 40 or 20% coupon, whatever coupon you happen to have. Um, so I thought it would be a good time to review it just in case you want to pick it up for a decent price during the sale. All right, so starting off with the packaging, this is a little bit more my style. I like the super bright, almost cartoony labels. A lot of people hate them, but I just personally like them. Again, that's a personal taste thing. I like it. So um, first of all, we have this super neat sort of hammered texture on the lid. That's the first time I believe I've seen that, and I really like this texture. It's just neat to me, um, sort of like a distressed hammered effect, and I think it looks really cool. It's got this super, super, super bright yellow wax, um, and then it's got this vibrant, bright, colorful label. You got your little pineapple, you got your little hibiscus flower, you got some like palm fronds in the back, and this is either feathers or a wave or part of a tree I'm not sure but either way it is like a super fun vibrant colorful candle I love the way this looks so I've got to give it a 10 out of 10 all right so our scent description for golden pineapple luau says enjoy the fragrance of an island sunset and a mai tai in a blend of maui pineapple tropical hibiscus, and luscious papaya. So basically based on the scent description, it's supposed to have pineapple, hibiscus, and papaya. Now hibiscus, of course, is a floral scent. If you think about the candle by Bath & Body Works Hawaiian hibiscus, that is a super strong floral scent. And I've got to say, there's nothing floral in this candle to me at all. This smells like a smoothie. Um, so you're basically, I think they really did a good job of blending the pineapple and the papaya. And I think it's basically half and half because it's almost impossible to distinguish one from the other, at least as far as my nose says. So I think they did a really kind of sophisticated job of blending the pineapple and the papaya together. Um, this candle, it may be a dupe of, I, I can't remember exactly because the only one I had I burned, so I don't have one to compare. Um, but I believe this could be a papaya sunset or sunrise that came out last year. Um, but again, I don't have one in front of me to smell and I can't tell you if it's a dupe or not. So you might watch other videos, maybe other people remember better than me, but it reminds me a lot of that candle you get some pineapple you get some papaya it just smells like a tropical smoothie in your house it's sugary sweet it's fruity um i love candles like that if you like sweet fruity scented candles you will probably like this if you don't you're gonna hate it probably because the hibiscus is it's not in there it's just not there all right, performance on this one, it took forever to burn. Again, puny flame syndrome, gotta give it an eight out of 10. I hate puny flame syndrome. You might not mind it, but like I said, the point of a candle is to see the flames, so I wanna see the flames. I don't like when I have to like stand over it and look down at it just to see if it's burning. That's annoying to me. Um, so I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. They weren't extinguishing. It wasn't like tunneling or anything like that. It, nothing serious. I just wanna see the flames. So the throw on this one, I do have to say, was a little bit disappointing. I only gave it a 6 out of 10. Um, it was kind of weird because it started off super strong and then just kind of dissipated. Like the last probably half of the candle, I really couldn't smell very much unless I was within like two to three feet of the candle. So it wasn't that strong. Of course, your Bath & Body Works candles are usually stronger than any other candle anyway. But as far as Bath & Body Works candles are concerned, I'm just going to give it a six out of 10. It, it unfortunately did not have the throw I was hoping for. Like I said, I want my whole house to smell like a tropical smoothie in the summer. And no, it just, it did not have the throw that I wanted. All right, so last but not least, would I repurchase this candle? I've got to say no. Although I absolutely adored and loved the scent, I just really couldn't smell it. And, you know, what's the point? I, if you're burning a candle, you want to be able to smell it. I would repurchase it if it had a stronger throw, but I'm doubting that. And since it doesn't, I'm going to have to say no. One was enough. Um, I'll just burn another pineapple candle that is stronger. So those are my thoughts on Golden Pineapple Luau. Let me know what you guys thought about this one down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.